Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio. So today, I am showing you a new Pokemon from Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's Serena, a Pokemon about whom I am completely and entirely apathetic. I don't really have any feelings either way. But then again, with new Pokemon like Beware and Araquanid, come on, I've only got room for so much love. Now, Serena is a stage 2 grass Pokemon, which is good because it means forest of giant plants can be used to evolve Serena right up into the stage 2 whenever you feel like it, first turn of the game, etc. 140 HP is fairly standard, weakness to fire is expected, annoying because of decks like Volcanion, but what can you do about it? And retreat cost of 2 is slightly higher than we might like. Now, here we are going for the ability Queenly Majesty. Once during your turn, when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may look at your opponent's hand and discard one card. This is why we like it, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we like it. Now, this can be combined with things like Devolution Spray to use the ability on more than one occasion. And sometimes this ability will be amazing. It'll be game-breaking. Your opponent has a hand of one card because they've saved a Professor Sycamore for their next turn. You play this and all of a sudden your opponent has nothing. Your opponent has two energy cards but no good attackers and a Sycamore. You grab it out their hand. The aim with Serena really is to play this at the right time to take away your opponent's only options. They've got one supporter and they don't have a bunch of attackers set up. Use this ability. If they've got three good attackers and you take away their only supporter, they're going to have time to draw into something. You want to use this to put your opponent in top deck mode. If they don't draw the exact right thing now, they are going to lose the game. But of course, there are things you can combine this with. So before the ability, you might use something like red card for instance put them down to a four card hand then use the ability the fewer cards they have in their hand the less chance there is that they will have something good or at least more than one good thing which will make your ability here far more effective you could also use something like delinquent here before or after the ability use it before the ability they have to discard three cards from their hand then you use the ability to discard something you know the one good thing that they've got remaining and i did a video on him very recently the new absol from the strengthening expansion pack this lets you look at the top four cards of your opponent's deck and rearrange them any way that you like so and check out the video for that in the description. So what you would do here is you would use the ability to make sure that they have nothing good in their hand. Then you use Absol's attack to make sure they don't top deck anything. And you can use this to lock your opponent out of the game at least for a few turns. Sooner or later they're going to have four good cards lined up and there's nothing you can do. But at least for a while you can completely lock your opponent out of the game. This is nice. Now... This is not an ability that every single turn is going to break the game. This is not an ability that every deck is going to start playing and it's going to be a fight between queenly majesties. But it is an ability that sometimes in some decks where you can find room for this, it is going to be devastating to your opponent. We're all going to have games in the next couple years where our opponent drops this and we lose. We might not face it very often, but it's going to happen occasionally. Now, in terms of the attack, Grass, double colorless, 80 damage, heal 20, and remove all special conditions. Now, as fun as it sounds to remove all special conditions, you won't be attacking if you're asleep or you're paralyzed. So really here, this just heals poison and burn. Healing and getting rid of poison and burn, and burn is coming back, it, it, it's alright, it's not terrible, but 80 damage, free energy, there are far, far better attacks in the game. Now don't get me wrong, if you can lock your opponent out the game, as we previously discussed, 
then hit for 80 a turn. That's not too bad. And there is a little bit of synergy here because double colourless helps to fuel the attack and the retreat cost of two can be paid with a double colourless energy. But my inkling is that you're going to need a backup attacker here that Serena on its own is not going to be able to fuel the deck. So for instance, Lorantis GX, link in the description, is a good attacker and you're going to be playing Forest of Giant Plants anyway. So maybe you've put just a 1-1-1 one, one, one or a 2-2-2 two, two, two line of Serena in your deck. And when we say 1-1-1 one, one, one line, we mean one of the basic, one of the stage one and one of the stage two Serena. So Lorantis does have a little bit of synergy here because you're playing Forest of Giant Plants anyway. You could play something like Vesperquen as an attacker. Problem here is that Vesperquen, you want to play a whole bunch of Pokemon to discard to fuel B Revenge, but Serena, you really want to be playing a bunch of disruption cards, so I fear you might run out of room in your deck. And other cards I've done videos on recently that might pair with this, things like Orangaroo and Persimian could be nice basic attackers and if you're playing basic attackers that'll give you a bit more room in your deck that you could use to get Serena in there now the other thing you could do with Serena is pair it with Vile Plume so you're already blocking items with Vile Plume you use Serena's ability to get rid of you know, the supporters or anything good in your opponent's hand. Bring Absol up occasionally to rearrange their deck. And when you're not using Absol, you can just sit there attacking with Serena doing 80 a turn. Sounds a little bit clunky to me, but it's something that might be worth a test. Now, other people like Serena more than I do. I'm giving Serena two Wassies. The reason is, as much as I love the ability, and I really do here, I just don't know what deck I'm going to play it in. If I'm playing Vileplume with Serena, then I'm trying to run two stage two lines in the same deck. Lorantis seems good, but there are better partners for Lorantis, like, for instance, Vileplume. And that's where I get to whenever I think about this Serena card. Love the ability, don't like the attack, but I just don't know what deck I'm going to play it in. That's not to say that in the future I won't change my mind and add additional Wassies onto the score, but for now it's a two. Now you know the deal, ladies and gentlemen, it's YouTube. There is a comment section, go nuts, be nice. There are buttons to both like this video and subscribe to this channel might I politely suggest that you use both of those buttons and you can follow me on Twitter at the Wassy. the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching money's Ross and you've been watching PTCG radio